I hope you had an amazing weekend. I sure did because I read this book, The Wrong Bride by Catherine Mora. Holy crap. If you guys want to hear about an arranged marriage to a man that she has literally loved her whole life, but then at the last minute, her sister gets him, but she doesn't show up. Let's get into it. Rory starts out with Raven. She's a top model, gorgeous, and she has been a part of the Windsor family because her best friend, Sierra. Now, Sierra has a bunch of hot billionaire brothers. Because Raven has grown up, Grandma Windsor does all of the arranged marriage, and she has always picked Raven with Aries. But at the last minute, Raven wanted her little sister to come with her to a party, and Hannah falls head over heels with Aries, and Aries does the same. So he asks Grandma to break their arranged marriage so he can have Hannah. So for five years, Aries and Hannah are together, and they have pushed off their wedding three times due to Hannah is a top A-list actor. Stay super, super private and never tells anyone, like, in the public that she's with Aries. So since Raven has literally been in love with Aries the whole time for the last five years really pull away from the friendship that she's always had with Aries and she has no idea if she could ever move on so she just throws her life into fashion design and Hannah's really talking about how she is so nervous because Grandma Windsor has a stipulation that they can't be away from each other more than three nights she doesn't want to pretty much put her career on the back burner for that. Well, Hannah goes to Aries one day and completely is like, I can't do it. I can't, you know, I have to do these films. Grandma Windsor is tired of her shit. And she's like, this wedding is happening without you. It's going to be with Raven instead. Parents and the grandma get um, Raven to come to the house. And grandma's like, I should have never let Aries talk me out of who I always knew should be his wife, which was you. She has to put together all these feelings of, yes, I've always wanted him, but I will be second choice to a man that's completely in love with my sister. They're both praying that Hannah snaps out of it and just shows up on the wedding day, but they're mistaken. She doesn't, so they have to get married. The situation is so much to handle because she, Raven, is in love with him, and she has to experience everything that she has ever wanted through her sisters. The rest of the book is just trying to navigate a marriage, um, you know, the friendship and the family still with um, Hannah and just the fallout, and it is such a good effing book. I want to go ahead and formally apologize that I have never read Catherine's books before. As a reader, you always want to be able to be in a book and not even realize you're reading. And that's what I felt this whole time. The angst, the love, the families, everything. It was a five-star read. Go get it. Stop what you're doing. Stop all responsibilities and download this book.